move them over here. Nope, now we move the camera too. And uh, delete this. Now uh, move them, hold shift and move down. And uh, make a copy and uh, group them as uh, maybe chain. Uh, yep, maybe it's chain. And then go to hierarchy tab, effect pivot only and uh, move it up to the top of the highest of the links or chain the rings and then start uh, and you can rotate uh, this as much as you want maybe like that and then hold shift and rotate uh, 120 degrees and make two copies to make it perfect three uh, chains here and uh, yeah uh, these will be so small so that it will not be possible to see that they're intersecting so uh, now these are done uh, then uh, just uh, select all of these and group no maybe not yet so uh, press R for the scale to and scale it down and uh, move it uh, into a position here we're going to start with uh, this boxing guy so uh, just uh, move it up and scale it down. Okay, and uh, yeah, it's still too big, so make it a little smaller. And uh, if we look in this view, is that uh, now that fits pretty good and uh, like that now these chains look like they should so uh, I think uh, that they are finished and we're going to we're going to first explode the first group and then uh, group them again as chain one now uh, press uh, uh, shift and uh, drag them over to the other as a copy and uh, move it up and of course we're going to add a turbo smooth to this too and uh, then go back to the chains and uh, scale it down a bit see here a little more uh, move them down yeah no I think uh, oops not yet so now these things are finished and uh, now let's uh, place uh, the hanger down into position and we're going to scale it down very much so press R for the scale and uh, scale it down put it on the wall here see here how much approximately make it uh, maybe a little longer and uh, like that now move, let's move it down so that the chain is going inside in the center okay uh, now uh, I 
think uh, this is done. So press shift and uh, drag this hanger over to the other boxing bag as a copy and uh, press E for rotation and uh, rotate it 90 degrees and uh, let's move it into the right height and maybe scale it a little shorter and uh, put it into the center here okay now these two bags are looking pretty good so go back to the camera and uh, make a test render to see where we're at okay this is looking pretty nice so now over to the next step <laughs>